let's go. These are all pawpaws. All in this bank. A raindrop fall on my eyeball. Tell me if y'all ever seen anything like this. I just found it. I was getting this uh, transition scene for y'all. And it's just a. I don't really know. Just a weird. Like all these other rocks are dark too, but they're not perfectly flat. Maybe it was part of something. I don't know. I don't kind of an odd find there. That's fresh right there. Probably an armadillo. That's kind of cool. Gorgeous right there. Look at that. Perfectly fresh. Not that dirty either. There are wood ears all over the place. I'll open these. This is it's a nice pretty little cluster. This is called an oxbow lake. <clears throat> Walk with me up here. This looks pretty cool. Something move in there. Wow. That is so cool. Look at that. So 
if y'all don't know you can look it up on wikipedia or something but oxbow lakes are where the river used to flow these flood plains down in uh the south in what we call eutrophic water systems they're kind of the end point for fresh water oligotrophic is um, like mountainous regions the nice clear water you see but once you get down here the rivers start meandering like that a lot and eventually they'll break off and they'll leave these old riverbeds behind that you can still find in the floodplains i don't know if these are hundreds or thousands of years old or what but it's kind of cool that you can just walk out here in the woods and find old old riverbeds and in the winter those are filled up with water they'll dry up in the summer and that's also another area that you can find chanterelles and bolites so keep a lookout for oxbow lakes and ephemeral pools slash vernal pools now i have to figure out how to get out of here I just have my breath taken away. Check this out. Whoa. Another mushroom. Right here. Beautiful. Rishi mushrooms. Wow. That is gorgeous. That is really cool. These are ephemeral pools that I'm walking around in. They're also called vernal pools. They develop in floodplains. And in the summer, they often dry up and they're around in the winter. And I'm actually standing in where the water used to be and it's starting to dry up already. But uh, a lot of times you can check for trees that have fallen in these pools and there'll be mushrooms growing off of them and stumps like this because there's a lot more moisture than the surrounding area. Um, I was gonna say something else. Oh yeah, these dry up in the summer as well and you can find chanterelles in them. Like in floodplains, there's a lot of switch cane growing everywhere, but uh, these ephemeral pools, they kill all the weeds and stuff and chanterelles and bolites will be growing in here. So watch out for these places when you're going foraging. They're, they're useful to note where you see them. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these rishis. That's a lot. And I don't know if I want to cut them off because I don't know if I'll use them. I'll have to think about it. I don't know. We'll see. Gorgeous though. I'm going to end up coming back here for the rishis. I'm going to give these a few days to develop. I think those will get bigger. And we'll pick them then. Sorry for the sudden change in environment, but I wanted to just show you all my harvest. I didn't find much more. It was just the, just those couple wood ears and I'm gonna go back in a few days and I'm gonna get the uh, reishi mushrooms. They're gonna, they're still developing on the log. So we'll get those later. But yeah, that's it for that.